opening up a doll care center with this Steffi Love playset. It looks like it's a little children's hospital. We have the reception area, even a little hospital bed for little Evie or Chelsea dolls. It includes three dolls and over 30 pieces. Let's get it out of the box. This is everything that came in the box. We have our dolls here, a bunch of accessories, stickers. So here is the place that closed. Ooh, it actually has a working door. And these panels snap into place. We open it up like this, and I'm gonna start by putting all of the stickers to make it look more colorful. First, we have this little tree, and this is to measure the patients. We can move this up and down to see how tall they are. And this is to do an eye exam for younger children that don't know how to read yet. They can look at the animals and they can better see their vision. And I thought it was really cute that they had it in a little tree. And we have a little shelving unit with a storage door. And we're gonna put some stickers here. Here we have a little sink, a little examination table, and we decorate it with all these cute stickers. We have this office chair. If we take out the faucet and we close it right here, this also becomes the reception area. We have a little baby scale. We have a little rolling baby crib little flowers to decorate the care center we have a little changing mat to make this a changing table and change the baby's diapers oh we have some more accessories here we have a little baby car seat and some toys we have a little choo-choo train here and a little truck here we have the hospital bed A little bag of accessories, a blanket and a pillow for the hospital bed, and some tools for the doctor like a stethoscope, a tablet, injection, baby bottle, thermometer, band-aids, some more medicines, and a cool little tray. Now before I decorate and add my own accessories, we're gonna see what dolls came with the playset. So here we have the Steffi Love doll. This is actually my first Steffi doll. She has a doctor coat and a pink dress and some white heels. Then we have the little girl and I believe this is Evie Love. She's got a little hospital gown on and some cute little shoes. And then we have this tiny baby and he is swaddled with this blanket. Oh no, he's going to get cold. <laughs> really cute. Now for my favorite part, let's decorate this little children's hospital. So here we have the waiting area with some magazines. Then we have the newborns, the front desk and receptionist of the hospital. She's here with one of the doctors. Then we have a little supply area. 
And then one of the hospital rooms where Chelsea is in her little hospital bed and Barbie is taking care of her. And we have our ambulance parked outside of the hospital in case they have an emergency. Sandra, you can let the first patient in. Sure. I don't want to see the doctor. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to see the doctor. Chrissy, it's okay, sweetheart. She's going to make you feel better. Mom, you want to go home. I feel much better already. No, you don't, sweetie. You had a fever this morning. Now sit down and watch the nice movie they put for you. Aw, poor little one. Barbie, you have a patient out there. Her name is Chrissy and she's and she's four years old. She seems to have had a fever last night and she's a little bit scared of being here. Oh no! The last thing I want is for any child to be scared of the doctor. We're only here to help them. I have an idea. Hello Chrissy, I'm Dr. Barbie. Hello Dr. Barbie. Hi, are you going to hurt me? Of course not. I am going to make you feel much, much better. I think you are a little bit scared. How about you hold Mr. Snuggles? He is known to be the cuddliest bear around. He is kind of snuggly. Go on, sweetie. You can sit on your mommy if you want. Thank you. Okay, Chrissy, so I understand you've had a fever. Does anything else seem to bother you? I don't know. Not a problem. I'm going to start the checkup. Oh, I'm scared. Don't you worry. I will tell you exactly what I'm doing. First, I'm going to use a thermometer to make sure that you don't have any fever right now. Or to see how much you have. Okay, I know that doesn't hurt. I'll put that right in your ear. Beep, beep. Okay, so you have some fever. I'm going to listen to your heart. That thing is really cold. If you want, I'll listen to Mr. Snuggles' heart first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Snuggles' lungs are clear. May I take a look at you now? Yes. Take a deep breath. <sighs> <sighs> well, great news. Your lungs are perfect. I'm going to use this tool to look in your ears so I can see if there's any infection that could be causing you to have fever. This won't hurt at all. Ah! Hmm. Okay. Okay, Chrissy, so it seems that you have an ear infection, sweetheart. That's what caused you to have the fever. Oh, no. Will she be okay? Of course she will. What kind of flavor do you like, cherry or bubblegum? I love bubblegum. It's so tasty. Well, I will give her some bubblegum flavored antibiotics. She'll take it for five days and she'll feel so much better. By tomorrow, there should be no trace of fever. Thank you so much, Dr. Barbie. Of course. Here is your medicine. Thank you, Dr. Barbie. You see, no need to be scared of the doctor, right? No. And what's that, Mr. Snuggles? He says he wants to come home with you to make you feel better. Yay! I love Dr. Barbie. I love coming to the doctor. Thank you so much, Dr. Barbie. Of course. Let me know how she feels in a couple of days. Of course I will. Thank you. Come on, Chrissy. Another happy patient. Okay, I have to clean up before my next patient. Hi, Casey. Big day today. Yes, I can't wait to remove this cast. <laughs> Come on, take a seat. Wow, your ankle healed so nicely. This is so exciting. I can't wait to start teaching my yoga class again. Can you please move your ankle? Your ankle is good as new. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Barbie. Of course, have fun in your new yoga class. Another great day at the office. 